Earlier in the show, we talked uh, to a General Electric investor about Jeff Immelt's appointment to head President Obama's outside panel of economic advisors. Now we want to get some reaction from a Washington veteran who has served three Republican presidents. Roger Porter is the IBM professor of business and government at Harvard's Kennedy School of Government. Until recently, he also headed the school's Center for Business and Government, which incidentally, Mr. Obama's former economic advisor, Larry Summers, will now lead. Roger, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, you know, I want to start out by asking, the Wall Street Journal a few weeks ago was comparing the president to Ronald Reagan, and you worked uh, for Mr. Reagan himself. Do you see any similarities there as far as the period that, that Obama has come to now, the sort of two-year period and the turnaround that we see? Well, both of them inherited a very challenging economic situation. Uh, when Ronald Reagan came into office, we had... Uh, had two years of back-to-back double-digit inflation, high and rising unemployment, uh, and a uh, interest rate, uh, prime interest rate of 21.5%, and no real growth in the economy. President Obama likewise inherited uh, an economy in deep difficulty. So in that sense, they were similar. Uh, both of them experienced some setbacks in the midterm elections, although uh, President Reagan losing 26 seats in the House was nothing like uh, President Obama losing 63 seats uh, in the House this last time. But both of them uh, needed to have a great deal of focus during their uh, term on the economy, and in that sense, they're very similar. One of the things I remember from the Reagan presidency, and of course I was fairly young at the time, was uh, his desire to roll back regulation. And it was interesting to see President Obama write in an op-ed in the Wall Street Journal uh, with a kind of similar tone last week. Do you think that he means it? Do you think that uh, the Obama administration is really turning around as far as um, reducing uh, inefficiencies in regulation? Well, words are one thing, actions are another. President Reagan did halt the dramatic increase that we had seen the previous four years in the rise of federal regulation, and indeed it was one of the four pillars of his economic program. President Obama has indicated that he is interested in having departments and agencies look at the regulations uh, on the books to see about having them rolled back. We will only know after they have done that look and made proposals for uh, reducing or rolling back regulations whether or not the content meets the promise. Roger, let me ask you because, you know, we all read that op-ed by President Obama in the Wall Street Journal this week. We see Jeff Immelt being, you know, put out there in front all this week. We've had the Chinese president in town, lots of CEOs, some that weren't maybe necessarily welcomed at the White House as of late. And I'm thinking a lot of the financial guys. All of a sudden, it looks like the president is embracing corporate America big time. No longer do we hear the fat cat bankers. That's kind of the past. You're in the White House. You come off those midterms. What do you think happened? Was there a major strategy session between uh, the administration's folks and said, we got to change things here quickly? Well, the administration clearly recognizes now that the central issue that they face, and indeed that the country faces, is how do we deal with our short-term economic concerns, getting employment back, increasing economic growth, reducing uh, unemployment and raising productivity in the context of positioning ourselves to compete globally over the long term. And uh, to the extent that this but, is going to be a focus of attention of the administration, it is good news. It's good news, but I mean, take me there. You've been inside the, the White House. You've worked with various presidents. I mean, what would you have been telling President Obama? Did he really kind of screw up that first first year in your view? And, and you would have had and said to the president, listen, you know, we've got to change things very quickly and drastically. Well, I think when he came into office, what he needed to do was to focus like a laser beam on the economy and do those things that would help produce economic growth. What the administration chose to do, and might have done differently if they had the last two years to go over again, was to focus heavily on health care and other issues that were a distraction from the central task that we face now of getting people back to work, mm -hmm. increasing employment, and getting uh, economic growth and the engine of the economy started so that we can have the kind of prosperity that we need and deserve. 
certainly feels like a new day in the White House. Roger, we're going to have to leave it there, but thank you so much for our time. Roger Porter of Harvard's Kennedy thank School. You. Roger, thanks.